So do you ever see those cool videos where they're showing you something on an iPhone and it actually looks like it's playing on an iPhone on the screen? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to pull off that effect. Plus, I'm going to give you a free download at the end of this video that's going to help you do the same effect in a lot less time. YouTube Simplify. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. And if you want to continue to simplify YouTube, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you're alerted to future content. All right, we're going to jump into Premiere Pro. I'm using Premiere Pro because that's what I use to edit, but you can use this same process with any video editor that allows you to use multiple layers. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is pull the video clip in question onto the timeline and keep existing settings here. We can see that it is shaped like a phone, but it doesn't look like a phone, and that's what we want to fix. So we're going to resize this so it actually fits on the screen. That's kind of the first step. So we want this to appear as if it is actually on a phone and not just this rectangle floating out in space. And the way we do that is with an overlay that either has a transparency for where the screen's going to appear, uh, or you could probably get the same effect with uh, a chroma key and you know kind of a green screen effect. But in this case, I'm actually going to use a template that I've made and we're going to drag that onto here as well. Now, when we go to that particular area, you'll see that the template is the size of the screen and it has a phone built into it. Now, where the phone screen uh, exists here, it's actually see-through. So there's just a blank, there's a void there. So this video is actually behind this and you can see it's below there on the layer. If we did this the other way, you'd see that this is on top of the layer. So it's important uh, that your layer for your video is actually behind your graphic. So we're going to drag that down. And then of course we want it to look like it's on a phone. So we have to make sure that the sizing is right. So we're pretty close here, but I'm going to line this up to where I want it. And we're going to see exactly what it looks like here. And it's a little bit big. So we're going to kind of adjust here. any blank space or anything it should fit uh, pretty pretty nice looking so we're gonna kind of make sure it looks good like that and then we obviously want to take that and make it the entire length of the other layer so when the actual video plays it plays like it's on a video screen it's a pretty simple technique, but it really does make your videos look a lot more impressive and can really add a more professional look. Now, uh, there's a couple different steps in making these overlays. Uh, basically, you need to find a good cutout or template of the phone. You need to put it over a backdrop and then you need to delete the middle out of that. But uh, I wanted to simplify this process for you. So what I've gone and done is I've actually made some overlays for you. Let's check those out. All right, so in the description below, I'm actually going to make two different options available to you. I'm going to have a link for a free overlay package, which is this right here. And as you'll see, if we view the actual images within this, I have provided you with one of these overlays uh, for a variety of different looks on your screen. If we look at this one, this is just a solid backdrop with the iPhone cut out in the center of the image. Like so, this area is actually transparent in this. And then we can take a look at the left option. If you want to put some other stuff on your screen to the right, we have that. And then we have one doing the opposite. And then I've also created a couple picture in picture templates, which will allow you to put the phone on the screen with the cutout, plus have an area that you can throw a face cam on so you can actually be on screen talking about what's going on on the phone itself. So we have that package that's going to be available to download for free. And uh, you can see that in the description below. The other option that I'm going to make available to you is for uh, those particular outputs plus the GIMP file with the project file that I used to create 
uh, that actual effect. So as you can see it here, it's a, it's an XCF file for GIMP, which is a Photoshop type um, option. And what I'm going to do in that one is also include a short video that explains how to navigate around that project file if you want to be able to make some adjustments to it. So either way, you can get the free set for, uh, which includes the variety ones that I uh, created for you. Plus, we have the option at $4.95 to grab one of the... Uh, you know, it's going to come with all of the templates as I've created for free. Plus, you'll actually get the project file for GIMP that will allow you to make those adjustments and make other changes to it yourself. So I wanted to make these options available to you. I remember when I first saw the effect, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd really love to do that, uh, you know, but didn't really know how to get there. So I wanted to do this video for you, show you exactly how that uh, works, plus give you the option to up your video game and be able to create those kind of videos. And the cool thing is, especially on iPhone, you have a built-in uh, video recorder. So uh, rather than trying to do like a voiceover on your phone, what you can typically do is just walk through a process on your phone, whatever it is that you're trying to share with your audience. And then after you move it into your video editor, you can do a voiceover and explain what's going on. Or in this case, with the templates that I provided you with the picture and picture effect, you can actually record yourself on video as you watch what's going on on the phone and kind of sync them together in your final edit. So just wanted to give that to you. I know it can be kind of overwhelming to figure out how all that works, uh, but I wanted to cut to the chase and allow you to make those types of videos without having to learn a bunch of new processes and things like that. And hey, don't forget this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is your number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free. There's a link in the description below, or you can go to trytubebuddy.tv today and get started for free. Hey, don't let the learning stop here. I'm going to put a playlist up here to YouTube feature tutorials to learn more about how YouTube functions. I'll see you in the next video.